and we've just seen a really, really skittish female leopard. And we're hoping to try and get the first leopard on camera from the Mara. And she's just moved across the road. She, from a distance, she was already nervous and running. And she's moved into these little thickets here. I'm just gonna try and go forward a little bit. And we might get lucky. Oh, I hope so. We might catch her as she moves between this section of thickets and the next one. Now, very, very skittish, very nervous. So, keeping distance, moving slowly. And she might have already just snuck through here without us being able to notice. The grass is quite long. Just saw her head pop up, ears in this thicket, and then I saw a tail around here. Let's try from here. Where do you go, gorgeous? She looked quite young. Oh, I think she's made a proper disappearing act. I mean, we had tiny seconds of glimpses. I don't think we're gonna see her again without stressing her out, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let her have her space. Oh, but that was so close. Well, I'm sure we will get a good leopard sighting soon. Um, Paul is wondering what is my favorite predator. Well, we all know what Tristan's favorite predator is, a leopard. Mine's a little bit more interesting, well, I think so. Uh, my favorite uh, predator is the African wild dog. And uh, I just find them absolutely fascinating. I also find them incredible, incredibly exciting to watch. Sorry, I'm just peering, hoping for a glimpse. But I think she's made her way into this bigger thicket here where we're not gonna see her. So close, so close. But it's the African wild dog by a long way, Paul. Now, unfortunately, I know Tristan's been giving you some birds. Uh, the wind is quite strong today. But who knows, I'm pretty sure I can find you a sooty, a, a sooty chat, or a rufus bark, even in the wind. Come on, oh, I really want to see that leopard again, but I don't think we're going to. So close. Now there is a relaxed one uh, closer to camp uh, that we have, have seen on occasion, but from a distance, in the no off-roading zone. We will get her. I pull in the Mara, because wild dogs are very rare in the Mara, that I think, oof, it's a difficult one. I've, ooh, I don't know whether it's Cheetah. Cheetah could be my favorite predator in the Mara. And, um, oh, although I do like the lions, and the lions like, oh, it's, it's such a difficult one. I do love them all, but wild dogs stick out the most. Now, a lot of people ask, about bushwalk in the Mara, and uh, there's a, a very important reason we don't do bushwalk in the Mara. You see him, there he is. Now, there are a huge amount of buffalo bulls spread throughout the Mara, and uh, they are hidden in this long grass. And uh, apart from that, the amount of hippo and the amount of elephant, it's just not a safe environment to conduct. A uh, successful bushwalk, and out here in the Mara, it doesn't need. We don't. It doesn't. We don't need the bushwalk because it is just such a fanc fascinating place. There is so much to see uh, just from the vehicle. And I said I'd find a Rufus Snape lark. Now I say they are the soundtrack of the Mara. <whistles> oh, now you've got to do a different one, cheeky one. There we go, Rufus naped lark. You can see his little Rufus crest is up. Well, and literally wherever you are in the Mara, you're pretty much certain to hear, uh, I find it a very, very pleasant call um, of the Rufus naped lark. There's the normal call in the background from another one. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, well, let's let him keep trying to attract some ladies. And uh, we're moving on. Now, I'm going to try to stick a little bit close to the river now, so we might find a few more birds. Now, of course, there are ashy, uh, not ashy, sooty chats everywhere. Everywhere except when you're looking for them. Now, as we leave that gnarled old buffalo bull, uh, we're going to send you to one of his relatives who lives a little bit further south.